Hey guys, Coach Jason, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to transition over to workouts that you can utilize to simulate race environments, okay? Simulation type workouts. Um, these are good if you want to test yourself uh, to see how ready you are or how ready your athletes are for a particular race, you know, that's coming up in a week or 10 days or whatever. Um, and now this is provided also that you've been training consistently and you fit as well. This is the only way it's going to kind of give you an accurate indicator of simulating. Um, of, of this stuff, but in particular environment, you know, I, whether you either have a race coming up or in this particular environment that we're in now where there aren't really many races, this is an opportunity to, to train and test yourself along the way as if there was a season um, and, uh, you know, fall track and, and so on and so forth. We're, it's really unpredictable as everything's up in the air right now as to whether we're going to have some type of season or how long it's going to be or how it's going to transition over into track. Um, but I still want to give you some simulation races. So today I'm going to focus on 800 meters and 1500 slash mile. I'm going to give you about four simulation workouts that you can use for either distance. And then my next video, I'm going to go over simulation workouts for the 3K and the 5K. So um, if you're a coach or an athlete and you like stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Take a look at all the detailed training videos that I put in my, uh, in my channel already. I have over 100 of them. Um, and make sure you hit the bell next to it so you don't miss the videos that I'm going to be putting out moving forward. This channel is basically, I wanted to make this one of the best running channels out there, okay? Good content, nothing flashy, um, no magic workouts because there's no such thing. Um, all different types of options, and these are things that I've used for over 20 years as a coach. So I was a former competitive athlete, and I'm a current coach, and I've, and I've competed and coached at the high school, college, and post-collegiate level. I've been coaching for the past two decades, athletes of all levels. I'm also a USATF certified coach and a Wharton certified musculoskeletal and flexibility therapist. Um, but with that said, I want to give you some options here. These are, Again, these are workouts that I've used on athletes with success. And it gives you a good idea of their fitness, okay? And it gives you a good idea of you know, any types of modifications that you might need to make. Um, because obviously athletes are different. When you're coaching, they have individual needs, and some of them might be tinkered a little bit. So with that said, let's go over simulation workouts for the 800 meters, okay? First one is a 600-meter effort at race pace. You, they need to know, or you need to know what it feels like to be you know, to be running hard and you need to feel good at 600 meters or the ability to still change gears or maintain while other people are slowing down. So this is a good, this is a good way to simulate it, okay? You do a 600 meter effort at race pace, okay? You take about a six to eight minute active recovery and then you do six to eight by 200 meter efforts. Now, for the, I generally recommend 45 seconds um, of recovery, and this is at your goal 800 meter pace. So let's say if your goal 800 meter pace is, eight, is two minutes, you're running them in 30. You want to try to get as close to uh, 130 as you possibly can for a 600 meter effort as well. Um, for the more experienced athletes, more fit athletes, you know, you can you can try the 30 seconds recovery after this one as well. But I would encourage you to start, especially for the younger athletes, to start at 45 seconds and then work your way. Some folks might need to start at a minute, depends on who your athletes, but. I would start at, at the most 45 seconds and then work your way down to um, 30 seconds. It may not seem like a lot, but that is a hard workout. Okay, <laughs> you'll have people on the ground at the end, um, but it'll it'll be it'll do a really good job of simulating the 800 meter effort. Okay, second one, 600 meter effort again at goal race pace. Okay, six to eight minute active recovery, but instead of 200s, you try 300s at the end now. Okay, um, and what it does is it helps simulate, you know, not only kicking from 200 meters out, but kicking from 300 meters out. Okay, um, you never know when folks are gonna folks are gonna respond or, or make their move in an 800 meter. So you want to be able to either ready to respond to them or make a move of your own. So this gives you another option. So after the 600 meter effort with a six to eight minute active recovery, you do a three to four by 300 meter efforts at goal 800 meter pace with a 100 meter jog. So. Um, which would probably be about 45 seconds uh, or so, or a minute. Um, again, this is another intense workout. I would do this with, with a little bit older, the more experienced athletes. I would start everybody else at the 200s and then kind of build from there. This is another great workout or another great way of simulating a race environment for 800 meters. Okay, next one. Two sets of broken 800s. Okay, I've done this before. Two sets of 600, 200. Okay, and... Ideally, you're going to run the 600 meter effort at as, as close to goal race pace as you possibly can uh, for 800 meters. And then you're going to take a 30 second recovery 
and then you're going to come back and run a hard 200 to simulate kicking that ended at 200, okay? Full 800 meters. It's going to be hard as hell, but then you're going to take an 8-minute active recovery. If you need 10 minutes, take 10 minutes. Then you're going to repeat that again. You're going to try to run that 600 again um, at the, as close to goal race pace as you possibly can. You could do the first one at current and the second one at goal if you're fit enough. Um, and then take that 30-second recovery again. And then you run a 200-meter effort at 800-meter pace or faster, as hard as you possibly can. Okay, It's, it's only a mile worth of, of workout, but that workout is another barn burner. It's a great way of simulating an 800-meter race environment. Okay, And last but not least... A different broken 800, two sets of 400, 200, 200. Okay, 400 meter effort at goal at your goal 800 meter pace. Your second, your, your first 200 at goal 800 meter pace. Maybe your second 800, your second 200 at slightly faster. So again, let's say if it's two minutes, you know you run 60 for the 400. Okay, and then at, you know, 30 and 30, or 29 and 29, or 30 and 29. Okay, remember there's only going to be 30 seconds after the 400. And then after the 200, okay, and then after this, the last 200, you take eight minutes active recovery, repeat, okay. So again, it's only two by 800 meter total, but it's a great way of breaking it down to pieces with very short recovery to simulate an 800 meter race, okay. And this is a good idea. It gives you a good idea of your fitness and race readiness, all right. So those are four for the 800. Let's move over to the 1500 slash mile, all right. First one, a 1200 meter effort at race pace. So let's say the mile is... Uh, just use numbers, let's say five minutes, or it's, it's 345 for the 1200 meters. If it's uh, 420, 315 for the 1200 meters, okay? Then you take a six to eight minute active recovery. Recovery should always be active, especially when you're training this hard, okay? Um, and then in the back end, five to six by 300 meter efforts with a 100 meter jog at, at goal mile pace and maybe slightly faster for the last one or two, okay? Um, so that's... If this is a 345, you're running these, I'm talking about 74, uh, well, 75 second pace, which would be put you at about 54, 55 seconds for 300, okay, uh, 55, um, 56 actually. If it's a 420 mile and you're running this at 65, you're running them at about 47, okay, 47 or 48 for 300 meters, okay, but it's repeatable, the 100 meter jog is continuous, obviously. Um, and you're just going to keep repeating. You want to drill as much of that pace as possible after that 1,200-meter effort. It simulates continuing that pace or accelerating when you're fatigued, just like the 800, the 200s do, or the 300s do after the 600-meter effort. You still want to be able to accelerate when you're fatigued, okay? So that's the first one. The second one, a 1,000-meter effort. And again, you could do some of, you could do your 1,200 for your older, more experienced athletes, or your 1,000-meter you know, effort for your younger athletes that are building up, or you could progress from the 1,000 to the 1,200. It's completely up to you, okay? But a 1,000-meter effort at goal race pace, okay? So, again, if it's a 5-minute mile, you're looking at about 3.06, okay? Um, and if it is a 4.20 mile, looking at about 2.41-ish, something like that. Um, 241, 242. 5 to 6-minute active recovery, okay? And then on the back end three to four by 400 meter efforts at goal mile pace and slightly faster, okay? Since this is a shorter rep, you're doing a little bit less active rest in between, okay? But uh, if you repeat it, you can repeat it or you could repeat the 1200 meter effort twice and then cut this active rest after the, after the first time or the second time you do it. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can cut the rest or just make the rep longer and so on. Or you can change the things on the back end, but this gives you an idea on kicking from 300 meters out, kicking from 400 meters out, or strangely enough, you could do 450 meters out. I, I've used that on athletes as well, just to, co to completely uh, surprise competitors, which is a good option as well with 350, um, you know, just reacting at a different point where people don't expect it. Okay. Um, after the 400 meter efforts, there's only a one minute, a one minute recovery, so it's going to be pretty intense. Okay. All the stuff is pretty intense. All right. Next one. Two sets of broken mile, okay? In this case, it's 800, 400, 200, 200, okay? The 800 meter efforts at goal mile pace, the 400 meter efforts at goal mile pace, okay? The 200 meter efforts on the back end is slightly faster than goal mile pace. So if it's five minutes, this is 230, that's 75, maybe running these in 35, 36. If this is a 420 mile, that's 210, 65, and you're looking at maybe 30, 31 for these 200s, or something like that, okay? Um, you take a 200-meter jog recovery after each rep in the set, 
and then in between the sets you take a 600 meter jog, recovery nice and easy, and you repeat it. Okay, so it's two miles worth of total hard running. But if you can get to the point, if you're doing it where you're running about two miles worth of stuff at goal mile pace or slightly faster, then you're pretty fit. Okay, especially when you break them down into pieces like this, it's it's a little bit easier to manage that much volume as opposed to running four times an 800 at goal mile pace. That's a much more intense, much more intense workout. Okay. Uh, and last but not least, two sets of, this one's a different broken mile, 800, 500, 300, okay? 800 meter effort at goal mile pace, 500 meter effort at goal mile pace is slightly faster, 300 meter effort as close to 800 meter pace as you possibly can, okay? This is for a little more, your older, more experienced athletes, okay? You take a 300 meter effort in between, so after the 800 and after the 500, you take a 300 meter jog effort, and then after the 300, you take a, that same 600 meter jog, and you repeat the set. And again, it's broken 1600, so it's two miles worth of running. The reps here are slightly longer than it is there, so it'll be slightly more intense workout. But it's an indication of improved fitness if you go from this to this and you're still able to execute. So, um, so here are some workouts. These are simulation workouts. If you want to see detailed training programs for the 800 and 1500, take a look in the description down below. I'll put them in there for you. Everything is broken down by the day, by the week, by the month. 12-week programs or 15-week programs, and you'll see how I lay out the workouts, okay? And if you're going to watch them, please watch the entire video, okay? Don't just pause it and write stuff down because I explain everything as I go on. And the last thing I want you to do is miss out on some important information, okay? I want you to know as much as possible or your athletes to know as much as possible so you're as ready as possible. Okay. My goal is to put you in a position or your athletes in a position to to run well and run consistently well. Okay, And if you see some of the multi-pace stuff in my other training, you'll notice too, I have a multi-pace training system. Okay, And it's all based on uh, science and periodization and also common sense, obviously, with the ability to make it, uh, adjustments and adapt. So, But the more you do multiple pace stuff, the better you're setting yourself up for long-term success. So um, keep that in mind. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. And even if you don't plan on subscribing, um, hitting the thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. It's really, really helpful um, with YouTube as well. So uh, if you could do that, that would be fantastic. For my regulars, thanks so much. And keep an eye out for that next video. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll talk to you next time.